No, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Those were shit of little balloons. <laughs> That's good. Just say it. Oh, it's so fucking fucked. Even when the man knew to that, he just showed a bunch of dead bodies thrown out of fucking. The dead body thrown out of boxes. Really? Really? I'm done. Do what you want. Pull the plug. I'll, I'll kill, kill you. you. <laughs> a man says, Wait up, I ain't even worried about fucking police. I'll end your life right here, right now. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can. There's man. How did I get here? Alright. Um, the only two enemies I have left are these fuckers. These fuckers? <laughs> sorry, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, that was like actually unintentional. <laughs> no, yeah, that was really good. I, I am just there. I'm just in your head. Is that just. Is <laughs> this man making so like enticing? Yeah, it's, it's just good, man. You can't change the rules. <laughs> you can't say it's okay, person, then get mad at me. Just because you don't like how I'm doing it. <laughs> we've, had, we've had enough with you. You're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah. That fucking annoying ass guy stepping in like he's a hero. I hate that shit. I was gonna say, like, congratulations. You made someone feel like shit. I understand he's. A dick. Or like, not even a dick, he's just like a misguided dude. He's a misguided dude. I will say though, I, I, I kind of like... I never did this because obviously it's not my place to step in as I have been preaching for this one of our guys, but still. I went to uh, Calumon. Okay. <laughs> so he knows what's going to be. And uh, there was one dude. Obviously there was something Berish. 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 So you're Bertram, are you? Sorry, Obviously. but I can't perish right now. Be kill. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Kill me. Kill me! What's going on? Are you mad? <laughs> wow, interesting. Oh my god, I mean, just fucking up that bitch. What's up, buddy? Oh, what do you mean? Yep. <laughs> I don't think, the only one I like a lot is this one. Once you get, like, once you just summon a move on your arms and forearms. Oh no! What? 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 It's a 10 inch of the Oh. That's not really not doing math, that's just not knowing what the... What the, uh... I feel like she goes through, like, cycles of, like, I'm a genius and then I'm a dumbass. Because uh, I remember, what, I think it was either yesterday or the day before. Yeah, it was like, yesterday, like, where she was like... I'm a Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I think you bounce that quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, I'm like hyper focused now because that. Uh, like, all right. So, the, oh yeah, what that whole like kill me thing was about is this dude on here is like, like the 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 story about him is that he's like, apparently like people always say he's like possessed by demons. And that's why he's like a good fighter. And Ike was like, he's probably just some bitch that thinks he's like really good. And he's like just bragging about it. And then like you just talked to him and he's like, kill me. So yeah, he might actually be possessed. Okay, he, might, he might be not capping on that. No okay. cap. No cap. Eat crap. Oh no, there's a guy with a bow, that sucks. Looks like we're gonna have to go Brave Lance this bitch. <laughs> it's so funny with the Brave Lance, because you're like, you just attack him way too many times. I don't know if the. Yeah, they do have a Brave Sword in, uh. In, um. 
Looks like himself. Ooh. Three houses. Uh, three houses, they have brave weapons. Well, first of all, get rid of these sons of bitches. L Thunder! You know, a big fire mate, I think I said this a lot of times, but a big fire mate went and married. I like you, I don't fuck you. Hubert's like Leone, but like an edge lord. Yeah, but it's like, and I know that, but. Does, does he get better? I mean, I like Hubert, I just. Oh does he get better? I will say this. This is like one of his passing words. I am dedicated to Eldard, but you're up there too. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, is what he says. But you aight. Like, he's like, if I had to pick between. between would be Aodard and you, and that's it. Like, he's like, you were like on par with her, which is pretty, like, cool. But at the same time, it's like you're talking about an ex at this point. If yeah, yeah, yeah. Made, and I'm not about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I mean, I guess, I guess Leonie's different, as in she just, like, really felt like she was part of the family. Yeah, but at the same time, you're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's my fucking dad. How dare you tell me that, like, I should, like, have done better or something. You yeah, know, like, that's what I don't like about her. She's like... She's like she throws better. it in your face she's after like, everything. Yeah, she's like, be better, you stupid bitch. And you're like... And it's like, well, if you were anything like you were saying you were, then you would have done something like that, too. Which I guess is the support after that, right? Because she's just like, just I was playing myself. And it's like... Yeah, it's cool and all, but I already hate you and you're not redeeming yourself too much at this point. Ribbon it, baby. Ribbon it. Can we get a ribbon in? Let's get a ribbon in! Woo! Come on, come on. Do a crit, do a crit, do a crit, do a crit. Do a crit. Yeah, you know, like, whenever I see you in public, and I understand the energy of whenever we're on game together. Uh, usually because there's some, like, social standard I have to fit. And, like I said, that's why I understand that, because I understand that, like, yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, like, if you see me at work, it's just like, uh, I don't know where. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Whenever it's... Focus got a bone or anything. Yeah, no, it's usually just because, like, uh, like I said, it's usually just that. You know, I like it, and why does it look like I understand why they that I never do, but it's just, yeah. It's shocking to those. It's just like whip life sometimes. Oh, like, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, I understand that he's like this, but at the same time. It's like right. high energy. Yeah. Well, it's my good friend. Uh, what's his name? It's fucking thing, God damn it, I'm trying to make a joke. Uh, Dream. It's my good friend. Dream said this mask hides. I don't know some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I just was. Just was like some mask hides of my hands. I just. I can see it too. I got a high energy. I don't think it's fair for like people to like want to break other people out of their shell sometimes either. Like, I feel like people intrude too much on like how people feel like. I don't know man. I have mixed feelings about that. Just because I think some people do need a helpful push. I just think there's like a limit. I think people need to know their limits. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like like, you know, you can always be there and support someone as much as you want to, but if they don't want to do something here and you're forcing them to do something that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, I guess it's the same thing for like suicide note. It's like <laughs> I mean like real. No, it's not funny, I just I just thought it was like it's quite the tangent. 
Oh yeah. I I'm only doing this because fucking Bryce is showing me a goddamn uh yeah. smiling friends before I got in here. Oh yeah. And so them like I I've, I've settled down for the day like four times and um said it felt right. I mean no, it's just every time I get caught in because he wants to show me something and I'm like, yeah, sure. Or I have to get to the bathroom and uh, he wanted to show me this fucking cartoon that uh, he saw me in my like, smiling friends and it was like a adult swim thing. It had a lot of controversy around like wanting to show it and stuff like that. It's fucking weird. It's is weird it not the one? Is it? Oh, it's not like oh, Happy Tree Friends, is it? Uh, no. It's, yeah, it's, it's decently that. different. But it's like, um. It's like an opinion. Okay. Kind of feel to it, yeah, which is interesting. <laughs> it's just. It's pretty awkward. Yeah. At the first pilot episode, I'm just like. Uh, <laughs> it, it went into a lot about depression and about how a guy just w really wanted to kill himself, but like the guy, the main character, worked with this company that like makes you smile. Oh, so they were trying to make this guy happy, and like the main character, Tim, is like, hold on. If you give us this day, and if you smile at the end of the day, then uh, you promise me you won't do this. He goes, okay. But if I don't, and I, and I still feel like this at the end of the day, I'm gonna kill myself in the whole thing you watch. Oh, oh, this is the one that uh, Psychic Pebbles for, or did, right? I don't know. I think, I think it is. Um, yeah, his, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, it is the one that Psychic Pebbles did. Um, there's a kid, there's, you said there's a guy named Pip in it? Pip, yeah, Pip? he's like yeah. a small purple dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, like, there's a part where they're like, oh, uh, I like your hair. And it's like, oh, it's actually like a nerve ending. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think, I think that's on like later episode. Okay. Yeah, no, I like the animator. He does some funny stuff. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying now about the like. Yeah, it's makes you feel weird. Yeah, it's like. It's good though. I mean, I'll, I, I don't. I, you should look him up. His stuff is like, his, like his screen names like Psychic Pebbles. He does some weird stuff, but his voice is funny. And then he like he hangs out with. Uh, Bertram, are you gonna hit me, you fucker, or are you gonna try to shoot one of the little boys? Yep, there he is. Let's see what happens, let's see what happens, come on. Perish, perish. No. Oh, here they are. Screw the fuck out of here, fucking attack me. Crit, baby! That was not a very good crit. Oh no! Cannot be critted on either, damn. You hit sword for 26. Shorts, you fucks. Ah. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Shut up! Alright, pig, revive me. Oh my god, you- 
Oh my god! Put all of his life back. <laughs> Oh my god, he killed him in one hit. What a fucking baddie. God damn. Boyd is a Boyd is a goddamn master. Like I hated him. Boyd. 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 Wait, what? Why I asked you and you just kept saying Boyd. Boyd. Yeah. Yeah, Boyd's a fucking badass, dude. God damn. That man comes to he pulls through every time. Uh, do we got people with, uh, yeah, we got two bow boys. Bo Burnham's! Anyway, yeah, boy, boy, I gave him a killer axe and he just fucking instant critted that dude. He was like, I'm kind of tired of this shit. Yeah. I, I've never really liked axe units, but goddamn if they all, if boy, my, my guy doesn't fucking pull through every time I need him. He is a... He's a monster unit, and I love it. You know, it's really interesting that, like, the past... Oh, God, I don't even know, like... The past, like, fucking... Okay, so... The Fates games... Awakening... Path yeah. of Radiance, Radiant Dawn... Those past four games... Uh, well, I guess Shadows of Lentia does it. I mean, Shadows of Lentia is a remake, though, so I don't know if I'd count it. But what I was gonna say, the, those games... They all have like, uh, they all had like furry characters essentially, and like then in Three Houses they just were like, eh, fuck all that. I think I think they I think Three Houses had a new like creator like guy. I think that might have been what it was. Maybe guy who was like anti furry. <laughs> well, I mean the first. I mean I guess kind of the first few had it too. They had, they had dragons. Dragons. Yeah. Was Dragons were like the very first one. Hold on one second. Oh shit. Oh fuck you. God damn it. Every fourth level boss, and I just had the fucking pillars one time. Uh, that run took 27 minutes. One, two, six. Yeah, like, like, I kept telling myself I was only gonna charge my phone, and then I never did, so. Dude, just like a good drink, I'll be a bad
Get him again. Get him. Mate, what's going on? Playing You know who's TikTok that I recently found? Yeah. Raven Simone. Interesting. I think that she's still alive. Yeah. I think she got like married or something recently. She is my baby. Very big like. Like cool. Let's be in white. I'm into it. She's pretty. I mean, she's that pretty cool, bad too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew she was, but I knew something was going to be up. But okay, bro. You wanna. You wanna drop the L bomb on us? Sir, the enemy troops are fleeing. Shall we give chase? No, no. let them run. We fought enough today. Get our men inside the fort and give everyone a break. Yeah, sir! Don't you ever say that to me, dude. See, so criminals won another victory, have they? <laughs> well, they'd send the rest of our troops to Castle Nados as reinforcements. Put General Hafid in charge and let them exchange blows with him. Yet that would leave the capital protected by only the Imperial Guard. You forget yourself, Knight. I will be here as well. If they defeat Hafid and make it all the way here, then they are worthy to cross swords with him. I would beg a question, Your Highness. Why do you divide our troops and give the enemy the advantage? It's as if you were. As if I were. Oh, and go. It's as if you desire the Crimean army to continue winning and make its way here to you. I'm not denying it. Are you saying that you desire Dane's defeat? No, I am not. If you think through it clearly, Dane will be yours. He had many plans when he started this war. He went through many scenarios and many predictions. But as you know, our predictions have been completely overturned by this game of rattle. Was that luck, or was it a gap in the skill or in skill between the individual soldiers? If it is, aren't you interested in seeing how far they can come? I do not understand. Hehehehe, <laughs> perfect. Nothing raises my spirits like war. Come, Crimea, let me be the one to consume your noble hearts. I'm hungry. And raises my spirits more than more. Right, yeah, right. Who are you, Hitler? <laughs> of all the battles in the war so far, the contest for Fort Pinnell is the fiercest to date. And from this horrific clash of weapons and wounds, the Crimean army emerges bloody and exhausted, yet victorious. The prize of Fort Pinnell is no small thing, but it is the promise of an additional. Large Benyon, Benyon, army encamped in the Castle Dane that keeps the breath of hope alive in the soldiers' hearts. There is one other pivotal piece in Dane's defense of the former Crimean capital, the severely undermanned Castle Nados. As the day in draw, as the days in draws near, Tavar's small force of hawks and galleons cease their attacks in the camp headquarters. Have you seen the hawk in Heroes? Uh, no, I haven't. Tibarn? Yeah, he's really hot. Hold on, so I'll show you. I have him. He's in this one, though, and he's like the, the daddiest one of them all. Not well met. From the looks of things, the battle ended in our favor. We claimed victory. Yet Dane had more troops than we expected, and it was a hard fought battle. I don't have the best news to report either. What is it? As the day ended, we withdrew as planned, but as we were leaving, reinforcements began flooding from the capital. Hmm. That is a piece of ill news. The men that were originally guarding the castle were nothing special, but there was one who appeared mid-battle and crushed an entire unit by himself. He was so much stronger than the others. It was as if it was a 
if a, a wolf had appeared in a kennel of blind newborn puppies. Oh, damn. What a fucking rep. Yeah, for real. Yeah, he like tore them apart. You know how how a fucking. I saw it last night. It was horrific. Yeah, it was just like I watched a bunch of pu- puppies be murdered by a goddamn <laughs> wolf. Could have done like a hen, a fox in the hen house or some shit like that. No, he straight up went for like. He straight up said, "This fuck those puppies." <laughs> oh, here he is. Yeah, this is the guy I'm actually talking to right now. <laughs> that sounds like I'm dating him. <laughs> what did he look like? He was covered from toe to tip in black armor. That made it difficult to judge his size, but tip I think he was bigger than me. <laughs> huh? Tip of what? Oh. You, you just said tip. That doesn't specify nothing. You gotta just post him in the fire room, chat. That's too far. My intuition's right. He is the villain you've all been talking about. The Black Knight. He's in that castle. Oh shit, Ike's about to run up there and try to fight the Black Knight, isn't he? He is pretty hot. Yeah. He's a big man. Get the fuck out of the and then the white food chat. Hmm. That's a Fire Emblem character as well. Jim. Oh shit. I want you to tell me about the night Commander Grail was killed. I understand that it's difficult for you. However, I need to know. I have to. Just tell it once. It's all I ask. If you can't, I... His death will be something I'll never be able to face. I feel I've done you a terrible disservice by not telling you earlier. It's just that there was a lot I had to clear in on my own mind. I know I've kept you waiting. Huh. That's a Metal Gear thing. So you tell me? Yes. I think I've finally come to a point where I can face it. Alright, whenever you're ready. That night, I already told you everything up to where I was on my way to the forest, right? At the head of the path, Father had told me to go back to the fort, but I had a bad feeling and followed him anyway. When I entered the clearing, he and the Black Knight were already fighting. They seemed to be evenly matched at first. Then they exchanged a few more blows, and suddenly Father was sent flying. They spoke to each other for a moment, but I was so far away I couldn't hear what they said. Then the Black Knight threw a sword at Father's feet. I think he wanted Father to pick it up and use it. But Father didn't touch the sword. He just readied his axe and charged. It was over in an instant. I couldn't believe my own eyes. They... It looked like they were embracing, just standing there, frozen. But I saw the Black Knight's blade. It was protruding from Father's back and shining in the moonlight. Oh, Grail. When the Knight pulled the sword out, Father sagged and fell backwards. I ran over and tried to catch him, but I couldn't hold him, and we both fell to the ground. The wound Father had taken was terrible, but at that point, he was still alive. The Black Knight approached and said, Give it to me. I had no idea what he was talking about. I do now, though. He had been sent by King Ashner to retrieve the medallion. Father told him he had thrown the medallion away, but the knight didn't believe him. Then he tried to get me to talk by threatening to kill me, and missed. I was so angry I leapt up and attacked him, but it was useless. I didn't give up, though. I didn't care what happened to me, and I was attacked again. If King Gallia hadn't been nearby, I probably would have died that night, too. After the Black Knight vanished, I simply... All I could think was that I didn't want Father to die. He, he was still alive. I thought if I could just get him back to the fort, we could save him. I clung to that false hope and started walking toward the light of the fort. I just kept walking. Oh shit. I am. Um, there's something else I haven't told you about. I... I met him. I met the Black Knight again. We fought. Um, oh damn. I'm not the same boy I was on that night. I've grown a lot. I've worked hard. Yet even so, I wasn't able to defeat him. It's not that. It's not that my blade was... I don't know. It's not that my blade work wasn't good enough. Titania, it's his armor. It's impervious to damage. What? That's not possible. 
even the strongest. He said his armor had been blessed by the goddess. He said only weapons that were also blessed could hurt him. Oh shit. The night after my father died, I went back to the clearing by myself. I hoped to. I'd hoped to find some clues that might help me hunt down the night. The sword was still there. I brought it back with me, and I've been hiding it here ever since. I wasn't thinking about using it. I believed that if I just carried the sword with me, I'd meet the Black Knight again. And it worked. So the sword will work against him? It's supposed to. It was made to contest Alendite, which is the sword wielded by the Black Knight. Do you think you have a chance? I'll win. What's up? Playing this. Sorry, I just played Fire Emblem. I'm just trying to beat this one. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I'm just in the middle of the game too, so I'll probably be boring. Alright, man, see. Yeah. 